In this video, we will see how you would typically edit a blog article. You can find articles under the post folder under blog. We will edit uh, an existing article. To do so, the first thing I will do is open the preview from here. This will open the blog in a preview mode. And then I will just place this on the right of my screen so that I can see changes in real time. So I can, for example, come to the title field here and add things and I will see the changes in real time on the right. So these are just some fields. We have the slug. This is a unique field that's used to uh, as part of the URL of the article. You can generate it by pressing the generate button and it's based on the title. This is the description. This is the author. You can select an author from a, a list of authors from here. You can look for one. And you can also add authors from the authors folder here. This is the blog cover image. These are tags used to uh, categorize the article. This is the publication date that you can simply uh, select from this calendar here. And now we have the body. So in the body, you see some text, bullet points, some images that you can add anytime, titles, links, but you can also add custom blocks like form, for example. The form is what we see here on the right. And I can edit the form by pressing edit. I can change the color and it will reflect in real time. So I can make it pink, for example. This is the background color. I can change the foreground color. I can also add other fields, like for example, um, I can add a YouTube video. So we can find any video from the Zigo channel. I'll and as you can see, you can either play it directly in the studio or play it here. Once you're done editing a blog article, you can simply press publish and the article should be published. Now you are still in the preview mode, meaning that you see the draft content. If you want to exit the preview mode and see it how other users would see it, you simply press exit preview mode.